Yesterday was the worst disaster we've had. We lost eight men, the whole shipment. And Sam can't even stand up. This is a war and we're in a hell of a fix. He's already got the prosecutor on his side. And he's digging up a load of dirt on us. He's also pretty close to the counselor whose boy you knocked off, Tommy. So he's got the cops after us. They ain't got nothing on us. That's where you're wrong. Yesterday, Frank handed over all our account books. The prosecutor is having a field day. Damn it. Frank wouldn't be out for blood. But he doesn't seem to mind too much if I go to jail for life. Those account books will give the prosecutor a truckload of evidence for the case against us. But without Frank, it'll be for nothing. We've got to liquidate Frank. You mean hit him? You trying to tell me I've got to knock Frank off? More than 20 years I've known Frank. All I got, I got with him. But Frank broke the Omerta. I don't know why, but he must have his reasons. And we've got our own reasons to rub him out and get those books back. Otherwise, we'll do time. And plenty of it. Whatever you want, boss. If there ain't no other way... There isn't. I figure today's our last chance to do something before they move Frank out of our reach. What do you want me to do? First, find these men and find out where they've got Frank. They're good stoolies. They have connections with the cops and in the courthouse. One of them is sure to know. You already know Big Biff's from Chinatown and little Tony's always loafing on the island near the museum. Then track down Frank. Whatever you do, don't kill him till he tells you where those books are. Kabish? Got it. Frank's going to have protection. You'll have to knock them off first. Once you know where the books are, kill him. Okay, boss. Whatever you want. Good luck, Tommy. Get a gun from Vincenzo and a car off Ralphie. And remember, if you don't do this right, we're done for. God damn it. What have you done, Frank? You were a brother to me. We both got jobs to do, Tommy. We'll talk later. Sorry, Tom, but I'm really busy right now. What do you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, hey, hey t -t -t Tommy, I got a new car. Just a bit better than that, than, than, than that v v v v V8. Has 80 horsepower. Pretty good little m m m machine. They change the locks a bit, but it ain't no problem when you're in the, 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 the business. That's it. Thanks, Ralphie. Well, Vince, I guess you know why I'm here. Right. What can you do? <sighs> Frank knew what would happen. What do you got for me?
Colt 1911 should be enough, but here's a sword off as well. In Sicily, they call it a lupada. When they find someone shot by one of these babies, everyone knows the deal. Unfortunately, this is the perfect situation to use it. It's got a short range, but it covers a lot of real estate. You can't miss. I never thought that I'd meet with Sicilian tradition like this. Salieri, Biff. We need to know where the cops have got Frank. Sorry, Tommy. I don't know nothing about it. Hey, little Tony. He's like this. The cops.
are you, Tony? Mr. Salieri needs to know where the cops are holding Consigliere Flake. He'd be clear if suggested you might know something. Hey there, Tom. Uh, look, I don't know uh, they, uh, what, where, where, where they've got Frank exactly, but uh, I do know there's a scumbag uh, that's been blurting stuff, uh, something about Frank and the, co and, uh, the cops the other day. Uh, they call him uh, Idiot Joe because he's a complete idiot. He hangs out uh, on a lot under the bridge. Uh, you'll know him. He's completely bald. Great, Tony. I owe you one. Joe's on a lot under the bridge. You know something. <laughs> by chance? Get the wrong guy! I'm Pete! Well then, I'm George. Sorry to hear that. Say, ain't you got a twin brother by the name of Joe? My brothers ain't none of your business. Jesus! Damn it! Yeah! Okay! 
Okay, already! You win, man! You win! For Christ's sake, stop hitting me! I'll spill the beans! I'm all ears. Frank and those bastards agreed that if he gave the account books, they'd pack him off to Europe. You better move it. He's probably leaving today. They've been holding him in some joint opposite the tennis courts in Oak Alley. That's all I can tell you. Now leave me alone, you rat. You've been a big help, Joe. Next time, get to the point a bit earlier. Jesus, that was close. They must be worried about Frank if they're driving him around in an armor-plated car. Well, I'll follow them and see where they're headed.
spare me? Please let me live!
Tom. Frank, the Don sent me. And you know why. I know why. I know. I don't get what happened to you. I thought you were my friend. I'd have never guessed that something like this would happen. Why the hell did you do it? Tom, I couldn't go on this way. Too many people have died lately, and I, I don't have the stomach for it. it. Used to be different with the Don in the old days. Maybe I'm just getting too old. Tom, this is a war and I don't want to fight anymore. I, I got a child and I, I thought I'd finally get some peace. You couldn't have done this some other way? You didn't have to sell us out. They came for me and I had to surrender. They have my wife and daughter, Tom. If I don't give them the books, they'll kill them. Before, we used to solve things like men. You, Paulie, or Sam would get them back. But I can't take that risk this time. I don't want to lose them, Tom. I can't live without them. They told me if I did what they wanted, they'd release them and send us to Europe, where we'd start again. Cops? The cops are blackmailing you and want to kill your family? Ever since you and Paulie killed that Billy kid, the cops and Morello have been working hand in hand. The counselor, the kid's father, got where he is thanks to Morello. Morello wanted to get me to talk, and the police would then liquidate the Don. Both sides would then get what they wanted. I'm afraid this situation has changed somewhat. Where are the books, Frank? I haven't got them, Tom. You handed them over already? No. No, Tom. I'll tell you where they are if you get my wife and daughter back. We were supposed to wait here at the airport, so they must be holding them somewhere around here. Come here after if you want. Just make sure they get out of this city alive. Fine. But you'll have to give me those books first, Frank. Sorry, but they're in case you're lying. Send someone here quickly. We heard shots, and we thought it'd be better to stay inside. I don't know what to do. They must be some kind of hoods. Uh-huh. Okay. But hurry! Are you Frank's wife? You've come to save us! I am indebted to you! Where is Frank? He's here. Wait here, I'll be right back. You're okay, Frank. Come with me.
Hey, March. Oh, good. Alice. Thank God you're all right. Darling. Thanks, Tom. They promised they'd give me plane tickets when I gave them the books. Those tickets must be here somewhere. Could you try to find them? Okay, I'll do that, Frank. Wait here for me. I hope you ain't planning no funny business. Here you go, Frank. Thanks, Tom. Let me say goodbye to March and Alice, and then we'll sort out this what? business. What? Frank, you want flying with us? What? I can't. What? Tommy and I have a very serious situation here that we must sort out. Right, Tom? Frank, just tell me where the books are, and go with them. What? How would you explain it to the Don? Forget about it. That's my problem. Where are the books? I'll never forget this. Here's the key to a safe box in the First National Bank downtown. The books are there. Take it, Tom. Thanks. And Tom, thanks for everything you've done for us. I'm indebted to you. And tell the Don I'm sorry for the way things had to end. To the Don, you're dead, Frank. If he finds out you're not, then this isn't finished. Now just go. Tommy, I'll never forget how you helped us. God bless you. Goodbye, mister! And, uh, don't forget what I told you in the car that time. In the end, your best friend kills you. Frank told me that in the car. And now, it was me who was meant to kill a friend. Only I didn't do it. Don't do to others what you wouldn't want them to do to you, or however they say it. 
and I didn't want Polly to knock me off anytime soon. <laughs> I may have given him a reason to do just that today. I brought it on myself. I just hope he likes me as much as I like Frank. Frank didn't lie. The briefcase with the account books was in the safe box. There was no problem getting it. <laughs> 